Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In today's video, we are starting the series of integration hub. So let's start with the introduction of it. Okay. So integration hub as ServiceNow is providing new technologies, new things to work on. For example, ServiceNow flows, right? The all together new concept to develop custom application, develop your application in a very easy with no code facilities. In the same way, Integration Hub is a new way to interact with the third-party applications. It is a new way to automate using ServiceNow Flow. So as soon as you activate the plugin of Integration Hub, the integration-related actions within ServiceNow Flow Designer will get activated and you have the options to do ultimate things such as REST API calls, run PowerShell commands, write script and interact with other APIs. Okay. So in order to install Integration Hub, you have to activate the plugin. But the thing is, this is paid plugin. But the good news is, in order to practice it and understand it, you have it free, available on personal development instance. So how to do that? Just go to your plugins and then activate the ServiceNow Integration Hub installer. Okay. Once you do that, you have all the possible things available for integration in the ServiceNow flows. As soon as you activate Integration Hub, you have these things available that is integration spokes so what are these these are also some scoped applications you can say these are the installed packages which are provided by ServiceNow itself so that you integrate with the very general things in very easy manner you just need to update the basic settings and done for example integration with microsoft teams okay so microsoft Teams spoke is available in the flow designers let me show you so in this uh, instance, I have that particular uh, integration hub installed. So you see here Microsoft Teams. This is the spoke which is available. So, so as soon as I need to integrate with my company's uh, Microsoft team, I just need to uh, use this. Okay. This is the reusable component which everyone can use and share. Okay. So you see all these options available. So I can easily uh, add this action here and then update my integration. All the possible methods are available with this integration spokes so in this video we just wanted to give you some introduction about uh, integration hub so if you are interested you go ahead in your development instance and install it and in the next video we'll come up with some integrations so that you will understand the things more comfortably thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe okay see you in next video thank you so much bye bye